Questions remain tonight after a University of Washington football player was arrested and charged with raping two women. 18-year-old Tylen Rogers is now out on bail. Court documents show the alleged rapes happened in October and November <clears throat> and that both women connected with Rogers through the dating app called Tinder. Court documents say one of the rapes was reported to the school, but Rogers went on to play in multiple games afterward. Students we spoke with the UW say that if the university knew anything about the rape accusations, he should not have been allowed to play. Definitely really shocking. I think that he shouldn't have played that game. I understand he was probably an important part of the team and everything, but that like levity of, 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 of accusation is, is pretty serious. Rogers is expected to be in court next week. Court documents do describe a disturbing detail what the women say happened to them. As King 5's Maddie White shows us, it was their bravery and willingness to report local leaders say will have generational impacts. That's true, Jessica. And police can't investigate the validity of a rape claim and allegation unless they're made aware about it. But sadly, so many survivors simply don't come forward. So I unpacked why. The court documents outlining the charges against 18-year-old Tylen Rogers describe alleged attacks on two women. He has not been convicted, but sexual assault advocates say what the alleged victims did in the hours and days after the attacks helped build this case. We do know that young people are the most vulnerable to sexual assault. Experts tell King 5 that in their experience, often the stories of young people aren't believed, and that sets off a chain reaction. We also know that they are the least likely to come forward because they're the least likely to be believed. The cards are stacked against them, but that's why nonprofit leader Kate Krug says it's even more important to reach out. It's really incredible when individuals are able to come forward and share about their sexual assault or sexual abuse. Coming forward, she says, doesn't just help to reduce stigma surrounding sexual assault, but it will also help the survivor get the care and support they need. I'm Maddie White. Jessica, back to you. Maddie, thank you. If you or someone you know needs help or information on the resources available, call the local 24-hour King County Sexual Assault Resource Line. The number is on your screen. It's 1-888-99-VOICE.